During the 6th Air Staff Talks in Bali, the Indian Air Force and Indonesian Air Force have agreed to deepen cooperation through an USU-30 forum as a platform for coordination and joint training, aircraft maintenance, and develop an air-to-air -air refueling program involving India's tanker aircraft and Indonesian fighter jets. Gujarat-based Inside FPV Ventures Private Limited has emerged as the L1 bidder for Indian Army contract worth 16.69 lakh rupees for 40 FPV kamikaze drones, at an exceptionally low unit cost of just $400 per unit, that makes it the world's most affordable FPV kamikaze drone. Armored Vehicles Nigam Limited has developed a fully bulletproof ambulance for the Indian Army for active combat zones. The Defence Acquisition Council has cleared a 5,150 crore rupees Indian Army order for the indigenously developed Darashakti Integrated Electronic Warfare System by Bharat Electronics Limited. After the delay in Honeywell engine supply for Hindustan Aeronautics HTT-40 program, latest reports indicate that the program faces new delays linked to the supply of ejection seats by British supplier Martin Baker, which has failed to deliver ejection seats for the 70 aircraft order. The DRDO has started development of a naval variant of the indigenous project Kosha Long Range Air Defense System, that will feature advanced tracking radars high-energy interceptors, and rapid response command systems, capable of neutralizing sea-skimming missiles as well as high-velocity anti-ship ballistic missiles like China's DF-21D and DF-26B. The DRDO has revealed that the 350 km range Mach 5.5 hypersonic crew drum 2 next-generation air-to-surface missile is capable of destroying mobile enemy radars even when switched off or relocating. The Rude Drum 2 features a dual seeker system, a passive radar seeker for active emissions and an imaging infrared seeker to track the heat signatures of transport vehicles carrying the radar units. After the Su-30, Israel has offered its 250 km range 6th generation Sky Sting Beyond Visual Range air-to-air -air missile for integration on Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet. The Sky Sting has a hypersonic terminal speed, next generation RF seeker with electronic counter countermeasures for higher resilience in contested airspace, and uses a three pulse rocket motor, giving it a no escape zone over 150 km. Evaluations are expected by mid 2026, with potential make in India co production of an initial 200 to 300 units. According to latest media reports, the Defence Acquisition Council will clear the proposal to procure Rafale F-4 fighter jets for the Indian Air Force this October, paving the way for a government-to-government -government agreement for 90 Rafale F-4 fighter jets in early 2026. Deliveries of the initial batch will come directly from France starting in 2028, followed by gradual local manufacturing and assembly of the remaining units in India. Officials expect around 15% cost savings through G2G terms, and up to 30% offsets to flow into Indian manufacturing. Adani Defence and Aerospace has partnered with Hyderabad-based MTAR Technologies to bid for the 15,000 crore rupees prototype development contract of India's AMCA fifth-generation stealth fighter jet. The consortium aims to lead airframe integration and rapid prototyping, combining Adani's large-scale capability with MTAR's precision engineering expertise. Today's Top 3 Comments